There we go. There we go. And just let's create a dot es lint rc dot json. Bam. So I use standard naturally, no semicolons, and then I just start uh, disabling things as they annoy me. Uh, and as you see, like I disable a lot of things that I. Uh, I, I don't believe in using linters for purely for style because it's it's kind of like the same thing as with type system. It just, just distract me a lot. Uh, I uh, just find myself like it. Uh, whenever I see errors, I, I tend to like be distracted and start fixing the errors and then I forget what it is that I was actually working with. So yeah. Oh, switch back to desktop. Damn, newbie mistake. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Just use prettier. Hmm, I'm skeptical. Let's see, prettier. Because this is probably way too opinionated for me. It, this is probably like, uh, opinions on like it will probably like be angry with me if I did I don't know no no I don't like enforced formatting per perhaps in a build system maybe but I don't know I, I think that for me for this for pretty or something like a anything a, a linter like with styling would have to be separated from my editor. I would like, I want one lint, lint set of rules that is much looser while I am working and solving problems and one like on pre-commit. I don't know if that's possible, but that's how I would want it. Just so that I don't get distracted by, for instance, like say that I had add a space there, like that is not relevant to the problem that I'm solving. That is just complete, super, uh, like that is way later. That is something that I want to fix later, not while solving a problem. But if it's in my linter rules, that will get like that is gonna warn me about that, and then yeah, I'm gonna get distracted. No, I don't like that. Loose typing in the editor, strict linting in build. I would really like that. I would, I would buy a linter like I would use the linter like that. Programmers don't by software development tools. Any of you are continuing to figure this out. So this handlers started, what are these? Let's figure out what, what this, how this looks like. Image Nikki, having the formatting consistent and run without me thinking helps me solve my actual problems so much better though, because it keeps the code consistent and it makes the code legible without me worrying about it. Yes, that reasoning works if all the people on your team does that. However, uh, the problem is that it starts distracting me as soon as it comes to committing things. So it will start, if, because if the code is not formatted according to your, your formatter, it will start like fixing things for you and when you uh, when you're about to commit, it will like do this little like changes all over the place. And I'm a person that really, really don't like fixing styling in the same commits that I have, uh, that I have logic, logic changes. But yes, if your entire team uses the exact same styling guide and you enforce that, then yes, it will work. Um, but yeah, I tend, whenever I use anything like that, it just tends to be so annoying and just be in the middle. I, I just fundamentally don't think that worrying about things like, let's see, like if there is a space there, really doesn't matter, really doesn't matter. I know that's controversial, for uh, to say, uh, but it's really not. 
It doesn't matter, like nobody will know. Like the end user will not know. Um, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have have linters, but I'm not saying that we shouldn't worry completely about style. I'm just saying that don't worry too much about it. Uh, let's see. 